Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and welcome to Phantom Gate, The Last Valkyrie. Now, I just found this game inside of, like, the Coming Soon area, which is already released, and I don't know why it's still in the Coming Soon area, but this is another Netmarble game. Let's hope they don't fuck this one up. I'm pretty sure they will, because Netmarble has a bad rep, but hopefully the developers, level 9, don't let them interfere too much with, like, the pricings and everything. That is the only thing I'm hoping for them. But let's get into it and see how it is. We all know that Netmarble likes to go to the extreme in certain games. I mean, they were just fine from what I've saw inside of, um, oh, well, we got a long download. But they were just fine inside of Seven Nights from what I know. I don't think they were too, like, you know, I don't think I English voice acting too but we're gonna skip that um hold up time out time out here so you guys know I played child of light this is basically child of light is there a dev that used to work on child of light that just came into their team it was just like, you know, I'm just going to help you guys out with this game. You know, we're going to take a unique turn on it. And this is basically Child of Light set up. And Child of Light was actually really fun. I, like, I want to say I'm fine with the layout. Kind of. Anywho, we're just going to go into it. It's kind of weird that they let us fight while the game is downloading. I guess that's fine. That's a serial while the game is downloading. That's actually pretty smart now that you think about it. We have like a little shield. Oh. I definitely like this character. Hmm. Oh my god, Thor, chill, man. Go back to Marvel. You insane maniac. Okay, rogues are OP. Okay, I don't remember Thor having a special ability like that. My man's upgrading. Oh, wow. Um, you said he uses punishment. Punishment. That's an understatement. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Like, I, I hate skipping, like, the story and stuff, but I never know how long stuff is going to go. I'll hold out as long as I can. Uh, watchmaker, I... We'll just watch the rest of it. Why not? Don't give up, Renata. Valkyrie of the Starry Eyes. The world needs you. Renata. I really hope the rest of the game is, like, English voice acting. That would be perfect. They don't do, like, the whole, hey, silently, your turn to read. Eyes. What you see before you is not a dream. But the start of the destiny Renata has entrusted you with. Your arrival okay. here is no coincidence. Renata sacrificed herself to save Astrid. Her newborn daughter, her sacrifice ensured Astrid's survival. And now, the fate of the starry eyes rests in your hands. However, okay. Astrid is in danger. Should her starry eyes disappear, so too will you. If she's going to save the world, she needs you to be her guide. I shall. Wait, hold up. What if I wanted to say no and you just you shake your head yes? Her journey. You'll be recorded as this dimension's guardian. Okay. Its safety will depend on you. Yeah, don't count on me too much. <laughs> so we get to look at a little bit of her um, story. So there's water, wind, fire... Doesn't seem like there is light or dark, from what I see. Hold on, I'm I'm not done looking at this art and stuff yet. There's a there's a lot of cats right there. All right, I'm ready. Name. Oh god, that's. There we go. Is that a cat or a wolf, though? Or dog. It just... Mm. Let's just say it looks weird. 
Pretty sure it's a cat. Or maybe it's both. Maybe they're mixed together, like Full Metal Alchemist. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, poor joke. Really interested to know if it's fully English voice acted. Okay, it is. Ouch. Uh, wait, where are we? How did we wind up back home? We were on our way to Rinnan. The voice acting isn't that bad. Glad to see you arrive safely, Astrid and Minnie Ming. Thank God it's not really cringy. <laughs> Minnie Ming? Who are you? Minnie Ming, do you know this guy? You may call me the Watchmaker. Your mother, Renata, and I were close friends. You and her were... friends? I'm sorry. She died when I was little. I've never heard of any of her friends. Uh, oh, what, you're saying your mom doesn't have friends? It's rude. It's a surprise to you, Astrid, but Renata is still alive. I must have fur in my ears. Oh, my Astrid, God. It sounded like he said your mother's alive. I can tell I'm going to hate Ming. <laughs> I heard him too, many Ming. But if she is, why hasn't she come for me? The Mad God Odin has cursed your mother and trapped her in a deep sleep. You are the only one who can save her. Odin recently discovered where you were living, so I had no choice but to bring you here as quickly as I could. To avoid further detection, you must use the monoliths to travel. Huh? Oh. Each monolith is magically connected to a location in the world of Midgard. I'm the steward of both the Phantom Gates, the doors sealing those passages, and Phantomheim, where we are now. So technically we could just murder him and have all the rest of the access to all the stones. <laughs> Nah, no Where shit. Really? <laughs> and what are the Phantom Gates? Phantomheim is located within your universe's boundless fourth dimension. The Phantom Gates allow you to travel to different places within the fourth dimension. Okay. Interesting. We're running short on time, so I'll explain more later. We need to visit the refugee camp. Odin's subordinates have started capturing phantoms. Alright. To the gate we go. We're near Rinnan village. Close to where you used to live, Astrid. The townspeople set up this refugee camp after the fire. Let's move quickly. We're short on So is it literally gonna play like Child of Light? Is what I'm wondering. Like, we've seen a little bit of the gameplay that's pretty close to Child of Light. It's spread all the way here? What's going on? My, my, my fur is getting singed. Why is the village burning? It's just as I thought. Astrid, the fire in Rinnan was caused by phantoms. What oh my god, phantoms. phantoms. Phantoms are souls that are waiting to be reincarnated. There was a rift in the Phantom Zone recently, and all the no, Danny. We, sh we should call up Danny. They he he knows all about that. Attacking people, but you can stop them. Purify the Phantoms, and they'll help protect you from. <laughs> uh, so many Danny Phantom jokes I can make right now, but I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna keep the rest of myself. Please purify it. After that, we'll need to find the scattered Phantom Gate fragments. And restore the collapsed phantom gate. Okay, that was weird. The volume just came through like one of my head to one side of my headset. Oh. Okay. It... Okay, at least we're not flying right now, okay? No. Chatter likes who has that to himself for now. Maybe. So we can help you. 
Yeah, we're gonna help him. Then the tutorial automatically tells me to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's literally like Child of Light. There, there is no like sugarcoating it. It literally is. So our cat is basically a healer for two turns. Let's see. Let's see. And we'll just murder you. That's impressive. You stand on midair. There's so many questions I would love to ask the devs right now. And wow. it's a lot of child of light questions that I have. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just inspired. Let's let's just give it the benefit of a doubt, you know. Oh well, okay, this could be a different story. Okay, never mind. I I finessed it. We got it. A lot of interaction on the stages though, which I kinda like. What what is this? Alright, never mind. Child of Light does not have anything to itself. This is definitely just inspired more than likely how long does this even last wait what crap got the key thank you it's definitely hard to do with just like a mouse Hold on, is there a loot over here? How oh, what's this? I have no idea. Down. All right, what's in here? Oh, goat. Um, I was about to say, don't don't let that last one go away. So you can't avoid enemies if you want. Just to save yourself, like, some energy. Ah, they even have the ambush thing. Oh, there's Earth, too. They even have voice acting on the tutorial. Okay. I, I like it. I was to say, did she just turn into swords? Can we not talk about that? There we go. Let's go ahead and get the constant heal going. Let's go ahead and beat the crap out of this one. There we go. 10 out of 10. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. It's basically like those little flowers that in Child of Light that you would just mess with or just hover over, then they would just like release like HP and mana. Which I don't think this game has. I can definitely say it's a certainly interesting game. Ah, okay, so you would still need to fight either way, goes. Okay. I see you've gathered all the Phantom Gate fragments. Can I open the Phantom Gate now? Yes, but take caution. There are many lost, wandering phantoms inside. Some are extremely powerful and very dangerous. 
Always be on your guard when you travel through the Phantom Gate. Noted. So is it basically just like a boss? No, I wanted to go back because I'm pretty sure there was some enemies over there. Just saying. How dare you force me to go through this gate? Against my will. Many mean the greats. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? No, not sloth. This is abomination. Yep. Because when you're number one, you get to attack. The icons attached to the number show which fighter is up next. Number one is red, and two is orange. The attack order on the mobility meter gets recalculated every turn. So use your hero numbers and the phantoms numbers strategically. Yep, sounds about right. This should this should take me back pretty far behind. Nope, never mind. There's also time speed too, up to three, and there's also auto. Do I then heal? And hit him. Just for the lulls. Anywho. Eh. Pretty alright game, to be honest. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who really enjoy Child of Light and kind of want it to be like an online game. Or at least co-op or something like that. But it's definitely inspired. Let's see that. Before you can fight the gods, phantoms are willful, but once you train them, they'll be your friends for life. It's definitely not a complete ripoff, just because um, Child of Light had like a way, way more in-depth character, like ability, like. Let's say skill tree. Yeah, skill tree. That's what it was. Phantoms need a place to stay. Will you help me build a home for them? No, you can do that by yourself. It's your magical powers. But yeah, Child of Light had like way, way better like customization. I'm sure this doesn't have like as much as they did. So we're not going to talk about Purified the fact that Mini Ming is a phantom. Here. You can create phantoms using phantom essence. Let's try it now. Oh my god, a war bear. Give it to me. I want the war bear. Oh my god. If there's a specific phantom you want to take on your adventure. Yeah, I already saw it. I knew what you were going to say. <laughs> Try well done. You can tap phantoms to add. All right, back to home. Can I claim my reward here? Now we need to no. head towards the Boulder Depot. There's a phantom on the rampage there. That's cool. Let's go. I want to grab my rewards. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Pretty decent rewards here. Nothing off the chart. Alright, what is this for? Oh. You make that guy now. Let's go to Phantom. Create. So we can. Oh, we can make these two. What does he look like? He looks very creepy. 
So you can evolve the... Oh! I like that! So they have different evolutions once they get to 5 star. You can either choose Fire or Earth. That's actually pretty sick. I like that. Right, let's just create him. Why not? Alright, what about you? I don't know if they're like, um, skills change though. I'm pretty sure it's still the same. This one's sleep, is this one duration? Okay, no, their skills do change. Because this takes attacks all, increase the target's. Yeah, increase the target's duration. This one removes buffs. So their skills do change, just the icons don't. Kind of dumb that you can't click over here while this is up and it changes. But alright. Alright, Sloth is in the party. Uh, let's go ahead and... I want to see Ming. What will Ming turn into? Um, Groovy? Really? So Ming is pretty much a support through and through. Constant heals to all. She'll keep that. All right, when it comes to, like, healing, this one is probably way better. When it comes to, like, pretty much, like, mana regeneration, this one would be better. This increases mobility, basically, like, um, that cooldown reduction that Child of Light had. Okay, that's just pretty much the same. And I'm pretty sure these two are the same, right? Yeah, it's just their skill 2 is different. Okay. What about Warbear? What, is, what does he look like? <laughs> I'll probably go this one just for the look. <laughs> just saying. So there seems to be like really higher tiers. This dude looks sick. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool. I would love the summon for that, but I'm pretty sure that the summonings are probably going to be, like, really, really high. Where can you summon, is a real question. Easter eggs? What if it's going on here? Ah, oh, it's a ranking event that's going on. I think I'm good. Now will the join ranking events. Okay, so you have different characters too. Other than just sticking with her. Okay. But it says select. Is there something I can change or something? Okay, defeat the beat boss one to get skill changes and stuff like that. Enhancements. Alright then. Now let's bring in Sloth. Oh no, I, I'm stuck. I can't actually bring that in. Whoops. Well, let's do one more match and we'll end it there. Enter. Let's go. So it pretty much give you like four characters instead of like the average one that most games do when it comes to loading screens sometimes it can be difficult to tell phantoms from animals talking to people you encounter on your journey may help you spot hidden phantoms oh don't be disappointed if some people are wary of you Astrid once you're done here meet me back at the phantom gate I got you fam
Alright, so I don't have like the whole Valkyrie, Valkyrie flying thing. Oh, so you can get like missions in here too. Okay, so we're gonna fight this totem. Beat the crap out of it. To be honest, I don't know if I'm gonna play this game any further than what I'm playing now. It just doesn't fit me, let's say that. Okay, so you have a taunt. Uh, I was hoping you had like a stun at least. Never mind. Oh wow, that did not do damage. Alright, I will just aim for this guy. Oh, we crit. Alright, full HP again for now. Go ahead and take down your uh, attack. Wow, you don't even do that much damage with the freaking boost. Jeez. Warbear is not as good as I thought he would be. Like, I thought he would be able to do a little bit of damage, but no, nah, not able to do anything. <laughs> Poor Warbear. Well, I found my lever. So they even take the lever, so you gotta fight everything in the game. You know, if you if I wasn't stuck in this cutscene, I could probably catch that right about now before it left. Just yeah. jump right here. Where the hell is the Valkyrie thing? I would rather be flying right about now. Just saying. What? What bear? You want some of me? Yeah, this is going to be like a tad longer video than usual. Just a tad. Ow. Jerk. If I can kill him, nope. Kill you. All right, whose turn is next? Okay, it's the boss's turn. I'm just gonna hit this guy. Try to even it out a little bit. Alright, you can go ahead and finish him. Oh, now he's starting to do some damage. A little bit. He's gradually getting there. Don't worry, guys. So pretty much uh, an orb comes down every, like, turn. Alright, we found the first one. Somehow I made it. Okay, yeah, I knew I was going to make that one. Yeah. 
Oh, that was it? Okay, now we're going to the next session. See, Astrid is learning quickly. Okay. You may play adventure stages straight through or complete them in parts. Please keep an eye on the adventure monoliths for any rewards you may earn. Now, let's move on to Phantomheim. I have some. Ah, okay, so I can come back and finish the round or a level anytime. Okay. I like that. I definitely want Allow this. <laughs> me to explain how to quickly level up phantoms. You need phantom souls to level up your phantoms more quickly. Where, where do you want me to? I was about to say. The more phantom souls you use, the quicker your phantoms will level up. You can find many hidden phantom souls on your adventure, so stay diligent. Okie dokie. I believe you. you completed the first checkpoint, you can move on to the next part of the stage. No. Stop it. I, I want to end here. Game. Really? You're just going to force me to do this against my own will? That's very rude of you. But, yeah, guys, this is pretty much, um... Phantom Gate. All the phantoms in the area. So they wanted me to use action. So I can just go back in and finish section two. I can definitely say, well, yeah, I'll, I'll try and close it out here. I can definitely say it's an interesting game. If you like Child of Light, then this game would definitely be for you. Safely, but I come out once everyone back before dark. You should. I will. Request you have. Thanks. Finally, I don't have to keep jumping every freaking time. I think this. I could definitely say this game has like, you know, quite a bit of taste. <laughs> But some people won't like it just because it's like too close to Child of Light and, they, and Child of Light had like a pretty decent fan base for sure. So I can see why a lot of people would be kind of against this game. But then again, you got to think about it. If you're like a real good fan of Child of Light, you would definitely kind of approve of this game. Plus, I really did enjoy Child of Light, except for all the claims I got to go through. <laughs> ah, what a fun journey going through all those copyright claims. Always fun, right? Can you stop taunting me, you jerk? I don't approve. Ah, I think we'll be fine without healing. And we don't need that. Pretty much got the base down on how much damage I can do with each character. And today they level up again. So I'm guessing each character is pretty much locked at my um, character's level. So, if she's level 5, modern characters can only go to level 5. There you go. Found your liver that you guys keep missing. Or letting them take, let's say that. We do already have the key, thankfully. I would have had to fly all the way back if I didn't. <laughs> Go up. Alright, now we gotta fight this guy. This random soldier just chilling here. Ah. I was about to say, why do you guys keep making me fight tanks? Give me something I can, you know, deal some damage against. And get them out of the way, like, pretty fast. We'll just focus down this guy. 
Ah, oh, there we go. And we'll do this. He's pretty much dead, I'm pretty sure. Yep. We're just gonna beat the crap out of you now. And GG's. So if they're like really low level, they don't really do like a extremely good amount of damage. It's basically like anybody who's played um, Knights Chronicle. You guys know if your character is not leveled at all, you're not. You're definitely not going to be doing a lot of damage. Like leveling up is crucial. All right. Now, oh. want me to actually go in? So we got one more boss. Then we'll just wrap it up there. Unless he tries to force me to do something else. Leave me alone. Stop holding my hand. Even though I'm pretty sure there's like a lot more mechanics. For sure. But I'll leave that for you guys to experience. All I'm here to do is show off of the game. Of the game, game, game gameplay. Words. Noted. Don't even worry about it. You can speak perfect English. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and um, keep him from doing a lot of damage. Lower some of his attack. Alright, get him out of here. We don't need any more supports or anything. Ah, he resisted it. Uh, let's go ahead and give everybody a heal over time. Alright, and you. Get rid of him. Alright, boss, just you and me now. It just literally makes me want to re-download Child of Light and just play it. I won't even lie to you. I'll probably play it on, like, stream, if anything. If I was going to go back and re-download it. Because YouTube and their whole BS thing. Now I'm good. Of course. You Let's return to Phantom Heim. Nah, really? Where else would I go? Just saying. Hmm. Like this character. The Phantom Zone is bursting with phantoms. You can you need more powerful phantoms for your adventure, Astrid. Okay, Would is this where we start something? Yep, this is where we start summoning. Now, let's go meet the phantoms floating beyond. Alright, let's go meet them. Let's go say hi. To the ones who have been trying to kill me. Summon phantoms. Odin's power does not reach this place, and there are many mysterious phantoms here. Yeah, Great I can see that. Are hmm. periodically. Luckily, you have a free essence summon right now. Why don't you give it a try? And get crap? Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and try it. Not like I have any good luck or anything, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's... I, I knew it was going to be a set summon you... Let's go over how to strengthen your phantoms. You can evolve phantoms in the phantom building. Oh. I was wondering when that was going to be a thing. Okay, so it's basically just like something to do with kids. I think there's still room for improvement, so I'll give you some evolution materials. Hey! What am I? Chop liver? Yeah. I'd eat you. What? So it doesn't level up the first skill. It only enhances the um, second and third skill from what I just saw. Phantoms can change elements when they evolve. Tap the evolution tree to view all of a phantom's possible for Yeah, I already did that. I should be done with the 
no, hell no. But yeah, I should be done with the tutorial now, guys. That's pretty much all I can show you. Or all I'm gonna show you. But with all that said, guys, try the game yourself if you enjoyed it or if it catches your eye or if you really do like the Child of Light kind of gameplay. I say try it out. But uh, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. to lose.